Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ryan Makes Sense, where we talk about personal finance, investing, and chart analysis. If you are new here, I um, basically help everyone try to figure out how to find good stocks based on certain parameters. I also do a weekly Robinhood challenge. I've been slacking on making a video for that. Um, but today we are here to discuss the best cyber security stocks. Now, there is going to be a spin-off video, which is the best cybersecurity ETFs. But in order to determine which are the best cybersecurity stocks, we want to make sure that those stocks are going to be in the ETFs and not the poor stocks. When I say poor stocks, I mean like poor performing. They uh, lose more money than they generate. Uh, margins are low, uh, losing money, etc. So without further ado, let's take a look and see which are the best cybersecurity stocks. All right, so I am on finviz.com, the world's most powerful website. It can change your life. I highly recommend you dig around, uh, get comfortable, familiar with this website. It's amazing. Um, so what we're going to look into first is uh, cybersecurity as the keyword, and that is one word. So uh, when I type in cybersecurity, we can see that there are five different cybersecurity ETFs funds. Um, and we're going to do a separate video on that. But first, we need to identify which cybersecurity stocks are the best because those are the ones that we're going to want to see in the ETF. So that cybersecurity ETF video is going to come soon. First, let's look at, uh, it looks like we have 54 um, cybersecurity stocks to look at. Um, so just a heads up, what I'm going to do, there's a series of things I'm going to do. If the income is far more negative than the sales, we're going to pass on that company because that means they are losing more money than they are generating. That's a, a losing uh, formula. Uh, number two, when I go to determine the calculation of the stock price, what the stock price should be, uh, I'm going to add the sales plus income, and I'm only going to add the market cap if the market cap is over $1 billion. Then we're going to look at cash and remove debt. And then we're going to divide that by the total shares available. And that's going to give us like a rough estimate of what the share price kind of could be. Um, a lot of times this aligns with analysts. And I'm not a big fan of analysts because they always want to push their books. They want to push their stock so it goes up. So I feel like my method is a little less biased for sure. I don't know what methods they use, but whatever. Um... And yeah, if the company is looking really good, we're going to look and see what hedge funds and institutions are adding. And if it is more than what the website says, that is a good thing. And if it's less than what the website says, then we might be able to find a potential downtrend coming. All right, I'm going to stop talking. Um, we have 54 stocks to look at. So I'm going to go ahead and open five at a time. We have Akami Technologies, ARIM Technologies, Arkit Quantum Inc., and... ASG and Incorporated, one, two, three, four, and BlackBerry Limited. All right. Um, I guess another thing to note as well, if the company is in China, unfortunately, I think we have to pass just because the dictator over there could literally just turn that company off tomorrow. So um, no Chinese stocks are going to be reviewed here. And of the first five I just listed, I have USA, Israel, UK, USA, and Canada. All right. Uh, Akami Technologies. You guys can see my screen. Let's look at the bigger picture here to see what we've got going on. Uh, not a bad looking chart. Um, all right. So looking here, you guys can see all this. They have positive sales, great income, great market cap. Uh, forward price earnings shows that this is undervalued. We like that. Uh, it shows institutions are selling a little bit. Gross margins, really high, 61%. They're profitable. Uh, they have no debt, it looks like, but they have some long-term debt. Um, so now that we like this based off of these numbers, let's determine what the actual stock price should be. And this is my calculation I was just talking about. So we're going to take... Just a side note, since sales are in billions and income is in millions, I have to do this longhand, meaning I have to type out the numbers long, which 
adds an extra time. So 3.63 billion plus 501 million 600 thou. Plus, we're going to add the market cap of 13 billion. So that trans translates to 13,770. Boo, boo, boo. 13 billion. Seven, yep. All right, that gets us to 17.9 billion. And we're going to go down to add cash, remove debt. Looks like their revenue is slowly chugging along. All right. Gross profits are kind of dipping from last year. Um, okay, so they have 542 million cash plus 542,340,000. Yep. And the total debt is 2.2 billion. Okay, so they do have some debt. Um, yeah, it's the long term debt. Okay. So minus 2,285,260,000. Yep. All right. And we're now going to take this and divide it by the shares float, which my head is blocking. So it's going to be this number right here. This is the amount of shares available to the public. So divided by 149,340,000. Yes. So this is a stock price of 108. And right now it is at 92.48. Uh, analysts have it at $94 um this is not bad i really like this there's some good upside what i'm also gonna do that i did not mention i want to see what the average 10-year return is for this company and all the other good companies going forward so their average 10-year return is 7.75 percent. so not too attractive but i mean if you're in this if you are want to look for a long-term potential stock this uh seems to be undervalued and the future value of this is um priced right so i'm gonna make a note of this and of course it's on my other screen one second all right notes from one of my older videos all right, so cyber security stocks, AKM. Okay, so current is 92, fair is 108. All right, it's like a 16%. If that is a $16 to go from here, I guess maybe 16%, more than 16% upside. Um, little to no debt. Um, our institutions, I want to see if institutions are going crazy here. So this is uh, fintel.io, highly recommend, AKAM. This gives you up-to-date insider data on what institutions and hedge, are buying, hedge funds are buying. Sorry, I'm talking too fast. Okay, so it says they own 97.48% of AKAM. Finviz shows 95, so that means institutions have purchased more, meaning the price of this stock likely might go up. Maybe, I'm not a professional. So it recently went from 69 to 92, so that's a pretty huge move. Um, we're gonna wait on this one. I'm gonna say, uh, let's look back at this one. Look back in one, two, three. I like to look at the monthly time frame, three months. I think that's fair. All right, uh, let's move on to stock number two. A-L-A-R. $2 stock. All right, you guys can see everything. Uh, kind of. Let me I'm make a quick adjustment. How is that? uh you can't see what's on the right is that okay yes that's fine okay so we have sales of 18.7 million it's not showing income which is a red flag it's not showing debt which is a red flag it's not showing current or quick ratio let's just take a look at the bigger picture here if this stock okay the stock used to be fourteen thousand dollars and now it's two dollars I think we have a good indication of what this company uh, is like. 
So we are going to pass on ALAR. All right. Good to know. All right, now we're on ARQQ, $1.54. They make 1.9 million and they lose 14.8 million. And they have 100, they have 58 million shares outstanding. Looks like insiders have purchased. Let's just take a peek. They're not showing it. So again, uh, total revenue went from 7 million down to 1.9 million. Um, let's look at their cash. They have 48 million in cash. Total assets, 123 million. Total liabilities, 45 million. Total debt, 7.8 million. Uh, in some alternate universe, this might be a good company, but not this year. I just want to look at the monthly chart. Yeah, it went from $45 down to $1.50. And they're losing more money than they make. This is what I'm talking about. So we are going to pass on our ARQQ. I'm just going to make it easy and say pass. ARQQ, and then the other one was ARLR, I think. Uh, ALAR. Okay. Um, yep, goodbye ARQQ. Next one is ASGN. $72 stock. Um, they have positive sales, positive income. Their price earnings, they're fair value today, and in the future they're undervalued. That's nice. They do have some debt. They have plenty of cash. Um, over the last five years, they have done 17% NEPS growth and 11.8% in sales. Not bad, not bad. Um, institutions own 99% of the stock. Wow. Uh, gross margin, 29%. That's still kind of high growth. Uh, they're profitable. All right, let's look at what the stock price should be because it's saying it's fair value. Very nice. Okay. So the high previously was like 130. So it's taking a nice dip. Um, let's calculate the stock price. And it's we have sales in billion, income in million. So again, it's going to be longhand. 4 billion, 620 million, correct. Plus income of 248 million, 800,000. Yes, plus 3 billion, 430 million, correct. Now let's go add cash, remove debt. Uh, revenue is, wow, growing nicely. Gross profit is flat over the year over year, but revenue is up, so we'll take it as a win. They have 70 million, 300,000 in cash, so plus 70 million, 300,000. Yep. And minus debt, which is 1 billion, 66 million. Oh, 66 million. 1 billion, 66 million, 600,000. Yes. All right. Uh, and just really quick, total lib total assets, 3.5 billion, almost 3.6 billion. Total liabilities, 1.6, almost 1.7 billion. So that is a really good ratio. That's over two to one, which is comfortable. Going back to the top, we now have 7.3 billion divided by our shares float, which is 48 million 330,000. 151 dollars stock price currently at 72 dollars. Target price 77 from analysts. This was at 130 by B of A. Okay, I like this. I really like this. Uh, ASGN. Let's see what institutions are doing here. And let's see what the 10-year uh, return is. I really, 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 really like this one, you guys. Okay, so the average 10-year return is 10.5%, including this long, these long lay, like this, this leg right here. Man, my head is just everywhere. So this leg right here was about a almost one, almost a two-year downtrend. And then we have this downtrend going into year 1.5, almost two years. 
So that's good. And then this was a period from 2011, a high of or price of around $6 to $90. So very attractive. Uh, institutions own 99%. As of old data, new data says they own 116%. Wow. Institutions like this one a lot. Okay. So we really like this one. This is ASGN. This one is gorgeous. Uh, current is 73, I don't know, 72.5. Uh, fair is 151. Huge institution buy. Okay. Perfect. Um, great stock. I like this one a lot. Uh, now we're going to BlackBerry. If you guys remember those old phones that they used to have. <laughs> they transitioned from a um, phone company to a security company. But dang, I feel so bad. Look at this. Oh, my head's in the way. Fudge. They make $656 million in sales, but they lose $734 million. I'm sorry, you guys, but that is a recipe for disaster. Sales over the past five years, negative 28%. I'm sorry, EPS, negative 25%, 28%. Sales over the last five years, negative 68.8%. This is not, we're going to have to pass on BlackBerry. I thought this one would have been a fun one. All right, um, let's now move on to the next five. We have Big Bear. Um, we're skipping the ETF. Skipping ETF, we have BYTS. Skipping ETF, we have a Brazilian company, CISO, one, two, three, four, and then CSP. All right, so let's do the first one of BBAI, a $2 stock, please. Barely making the cut. They make 160 million, but they lose 129 million. This is a high risk one. So let's uh, let's just do the math here. Everything's in millions, so that's good. Market cap is under one billion, so we're not going to include it in our calculation. So we're going to go ahead and do 160.8 minus 129.1. Um, let's add cash or move debt. Revenue is growing. That's good. Gross profit also growing. That's good. Okay. So they have 12 million points plus so plus 12.63 in cash and total debt is 194 minus 194.4. Yeah, we're negative. We're are they getting better with their debt? No, they're not. So um we're going to have to pass on BBAI, but I think they could get their poop in a group. This could be a good company. Yeah, I think it could be a good turnaround company. Just not um, not now while they're trying to get out of their hole. So I would check back in this one in a year. I'm just going to put BBAI check in one year. All right, uh, next one is BYTS, $11 stock. That's a shell company. They have no sales, but they have $6.5 million in income, meaning they just have investor cash. They're not making any money. So this is sketchy. It says Byte does not have any significant operations. Okay, so we're going to skip this one, um, even though it's going nuts. It's so stupid. Oh, people, don't lose your money. It went from 960 to now 1125. So it's just just a shell company. Uh, be careful, guys. Um, I'm just going to note that down really quick. Pass BYTS. Next one is SIG, C-I-G. Just going to look at the monthly chart really quick to see what where we're at. All right, this one um, is not bad. 
Wow, they make seven, they do seven billion in sales, 804 million in income. Current price to value is undervalued, but the future value is um, high. So what is this worth? Let's find out together. Um, I'm interested in this one. I'm just gonna go down really quick and make sure it's a cybersecurity company. So engages in generation, transmission, and sale of energy in Brazil. The company operated 69 hydro, wind, solar. Um, okay, so they have cybersecurity service. Uh, let's look at it because it might be in one of the ETFs. And I'm also just interested to see what this looks like. Okay, so we have billions and million mixed, so I'm gonna have to type everything out long. So seven bill, 150 mil, correct. Plus 804 million, 700,000, correct. Plus 6 billion, 400 million, correct. Add cash, remove debt. Ooh, we got a lot, of, a lot of big numbers here. Is this in Brazilian or USD? It's in BRL. It's on the side of the screen. So that's something else we need to Oh, should I check that with the UK company? Yeah. So right here, it's in BRL. Okay. So let's do BRL to USD. So they have 1 billion, 345 million. So 1 billion, 345, 17. Let's see, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, yep, one bill, yep. So that is, how many dollars is this? One, two, three, one, two, three, 275 million. So plus 275 million, 648,173. All right, and total debt is 10 billion okay geez 10 9 3 4 13 10 billion 9 3 4 1 3 0 0 0 it's 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 yep 10 billion okay so that is um now i have to take what is this 1 2 3 1 2 3 1 2 3 2 billion. Okay, so 2 billion, 204, whatever. So minus 2 billion, 240, 588, 898. Correct. Yes. That brings us down to here. And now let's divide that by the shares float, which is 1.76 billion. Divided by 1,760,000. A $7 stock price. Um, so it's around 250, so it is undervalued. Um, not much room for growth here. Let's see what institutions are doing. Institutions own 42,800 shares. That's not a lot. Yeah. Um, SIG, we're going to pass. I mean, it's not a bad company, but it, the numbers just don't make sense down here. It's kind of risky. It went from 2016, 50 cents, and it's at 250 now over eight years. So, I mean, that's good return, but yeah, just, you know, just being on the safer side. Um, I should just note, I'll just note over here, SIG. Um, not a bad company. Numbers are not attractive. All right. Um, good one though. CISO. Oh my gosh. 18 cents. This might be a quick and easy one. They make 50 million, but they lose 60 million. They're going to need to raise some cash and you know who they're going to raise it from? People like us. So this is a big nope. Let's just go down and look. Um, I mean, they're growing their revenue. Their profit's growing. Uh, it's not bad. 
total assets 104 million total liabilities 28 million total debt 14 million i mean it's not the worst company what are institutions doing institutions own 4.87 so a little bit they bought a little bit more um yeah this this one needs some time for sure yeah it went from 50 bucks to now 18 cents so yep they've done offerings yeah public offerings just another offering so i would check back on this one in a year Uh, see, so check back in a year. Yeah. Next one is CSPI. All right. Wow. Okay. So they're profitable. They make 61 million in sales. They have a dividend too, which is interesting. They have 3.2 million in income. Um, gross margins, 35%. Let's uh let's just see how long they've been around. Uh they've been around for a while. Okay. So let's do the calculations. Everything's in millions. So 61.6 million plus 3.2 million plus no, we're not we don't add the market cap because it's under 1 billion. So we're gonna add the cash, which is 23.98. Eight million minus their debt, which they have four minus four. All right, total assets seventy five, total liabilities thirty six. So that's a two to one ratio there. That means assets dwarf liabilities two to one uh, because total liabilities times two is seventy two, and total assets is seventy five. So that's the two. That's how I get my ratios. Um, I like this. This is a good. I would call this. Not a penny stock, but a speculative, a healthy speculative company. Yeah, they're growing their net income. This is a look at these buys. You know, these are some great buys. Great, 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 great buys. Wow. All right. All right. Uh, let's see what the stock price should be. Eighty-four point eight divided by three point three nine. $25 stock trading at $12. This is amazing. I like this. Let's look at CSPI here. Institutions own 25.79% as of today. Older data says 26.7, so there was a 1% sell between the old data and the new data. Um, low volume, 1,651 shares. So I really like this one. Let's uh, let's just see what the ten-year return is. CSPI. Ten-year return seven percent. It's positive, so that's good. Um, CSPI we like. Currently twelve fifty-one. Fair is twenty-five. Becoming more profitable and net income solidly increasing. Okay, I'm just gonna bold in the ones that I really like. Yeah, I really, I guess I'll take AKM. All right. Uh, let's move on to our next one. Uh, CTM USA, Dell Technologies, okay. D Tech, this is the ETF, so we're going to skip it. Uh, data storage, whoops. Going back. Going back to data storage, open in a separate tab. For Tenet, software infrastructure, and the last one is Gen Digital. All right, starting with CTM. 
63 cents. Okay, so they make 42 million, they lose 18 million. Uh, let's let's just do some calcs here. So 42.1 million, they lose 18. Market cap is under a billion, so we're not going to include. So we're going to go add the cash, remove the debt. Look at these buys. Pretty decent. Uh, revenue stagnant a little bit. Uh, net income is getting worse. Total assets, 33. Total liabilities, 15. So that's a 2 to 1. Uh, cash in short term is 4.6 million. So plus 4.64. Minus debt, which is 10.0. 10.07 so we're down to 18 and shares float is divided by 17.80 the stock should be a dollar and it's trading at 63 cents um insiders are purchasing like crazy yeah they kind of gave up around i'm gonna get one under a dollar Let's see, what does this look like historically? Oh my God, the stock price used to be 4.5 million. Do you guys see that? Let me move. Oh my God, right over here, 4.5 million. Well, it's safe to say we're passing on this one. Uh, pass CTM. rip all right next one is dell we know dell all right uh this is a hardware company we'll still judge it because it could be in the cybersecurity. so um everything's ah the shares float are not in billions okay uh let's go ahead and do our calculations here so 102 billion 300 million correct plus they have 2.4 4 billion in uh, income. Mark cap is 33 billion, 420 million. Yep. Let's add cash, remove debt. A lot of sales, a lot of sales. Uh, their revenue is actually down. No. That's so we're at trailing 12, so never mind. Okay, cash, they have 8 billion plus 8 billion, 607. Wow. Okay, total debt. 29 billion. There we go. Minus 29 billion, 588 million. Yes. Yeah. All right, now we're going to take this and divide it by 246.66 million. $475 stock price. Did I miss a zero somewhere? One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. I don't think I did. Um so it's show so it's showing that it's undervalued now a little bit, and it's in the future it's very undervalued. So if we go to Dell for the 10 year, what is that what is Dell return over 10 years? And then what are institutions doing? So the old data shows that institutions own 82%. And new data shows that institutions own 29%. What happened there? Class C. Uh, Dell, why is it showing Class C? Is that all it has? Dang it. Uh, Dell Technologies. Here we know. Just as classy. I just don't think that is right. They have 214 million shares out of. 246 million shares so that's a lot higher let's do the math here so 214 million that's billion 
214 million divided by 266 million. So it's 80% times 100. 80.5%. I don't know why it's showing me 29%. So institutions went from 82.4% to 80%. So that is not goodish. And then the average return is 22% over 10 years. So not bad. Let's see where we are in terms of holistic monthly chart. 47 dollars okay and my calculation showed it was one ten times undervalued i just want to do it again real quick 102 billion 300 though 102 billion 300 thousand billion million million billion yes plus two billion 24 billion, 2 billion, 440 million, correct, plus 33 billion, 420 million. Okay, 138 billion, sounds good. Cash, plus 8 billion, 607 million. Yep, it's in USD on the bottom. Okay, and then minus total debt, minus 29 billion, 588 million. Yep, 117 billion divided by 246 million 660,000. It's showing 475, you guys. So this is uh incredible. I think this is the this is crazy. Currently 4761 pair value 475 wow wow okay that's pretty crazy i don't know if i've seen that one like that before uh let's move on to the next one dtst two dollar stock they make 22 million but they lose 4.5 million um no debt barely any debt a lot of cash let's uh let's look at this one everything's in millions so it makes it easy and market cap is only 13 million that's super low so uh we're gonna do 22.1 minus 4.5 17.6 add cash remove debt let's see uh revenue is getting better we're so we're trailing 12 months here so this data for 2023 is going to be a little laggy so they have 2 million plus 2.29 million cash and then total debt is minus 1.42 okay uh total liabilities is 4.98 total assets is 24 so that's like a that dwarfs six to one which is really good so let's just look at the monthly here because if, if it used to be a million dollar stock and now it's down to three bucks, that's a red flag. Uh, no, it went to 60 at one point. So nothing too out of the ordinary. Um, we're going to take this number now, divide it by 4.22. A fair share price of $4.20, $4.37. Analysts have a target price of $8, which is crazy um yeah this one is uh moving really well in terms of uh growth so our institutions picking up on it dtst it says institutions own nine percent i'm gonna say they own a lot more than nine percent you guys eleven percent so yeah this one is pretty good they're growing they're growing quite a bit. So let's uh, add this one. So DTST growing nicely. Current 205. Fair is 4.38. Um, yeah. Becoming a healthy company. All right. Um, that's a good one. I like that. 
Let's move on to the next one. FTNT Dynamite. $68 stock. It's in an ascending triangle, which is kind of bearish, but it's holding up. So, all right. Um, it says it's very overvalued right now, and in the future, it is still a little overvalued. Um, let's run the numbers here. They make four billion seven hundred twenty thousand. Why did my calculator get so big? I don't know. Four bill seven hundred twenty. So plus nine hundred sixty-six million six hundred thousand. Yep. Plus fifty-three billion. 80 million yes all right let's add cash remove debt how are they growing uh they're growing well their revenues are just jumping which is good balance sheet they have 1.6 billion in cash which is great so plus 1 billion 682 million 900 yes total debt please be in the billions it's not minus 990 million 400,000. Yes. All right. All right. And divide that by the shares float. This is going to give us our share price. So divided by 633,430,000. $93 stock. It is currently 68. That's some good growth there. I don't think it's overvalued. Um, let's look at the chart. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see what the average 10 year return is FTNT and let's see what institutions are doing. I'm going to guess institutions are buying because it just what I did shows that it's undervalued institutions are showing a 72.63 ownership as of new data. Finviz is showing 67%. So that's about a 5% increase, which is substantial. Um, 10 year return for FTNT is 33.94%. Wowzers. So great, great. This is a great company. Institutional buys, current 63, fair 90s. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right, um, that's a good one. All right, let's move on to Gen Digital. Seventeen dollar stock. All right, um, share or sales and data, money, financials are billions, but the shares are millions. So we're gonna do it longhand. Uh, so they make 3.34 billion in sales, correct, plus 1.35 billion in income. That's amazing. And their market cap is 11 billion, 114 million, correct. Ooh, they do not have any cash, and it looks like they have a lot of debt. 174 million in cash plus 174. Total debt is. 9 billion so minus 9 billion 762 million wow okay so that brings us so divided by 6 million 610 million 170 thousand ten dollar stock trading at 17 dollars rough what does the chart show and the uh, the data shows that it's undervalued. Well, look at this chart here. It looks like it's putting in a bottom right here. So here, let me just, right here, you can see my mouse putting in a bottom, putting in a bottom, putting in a bottom, putting in a bottom, and maybe putting in a bottom. What we're gonna wanna watch is this purple 20 SMA cross below the 50 SMA. That should cause the stock price to go down further, maybe, or the stock will just break through it like a champ. So I think this is overvalued. Let's see if institutions think it's overvalued. I can't be the only one. Yeah, it's not showing any data. So um, yeah, we're going to have to, Jen, we're going to come back to you in one, two, three months.
Gen check in three months. Okay. All right. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Glob in Luxembourg. Google will do it because it might be part of the ETF. Uh, again, there's Google again. ETF we're passing on. INTZ. Ironnet, I remember that one, and Jacobs Solutions. All right, that's engineering construction, but we're gonna do it just because it could be part of the cybersecurity ETF. Okay, uh, Luxembourg, let's run the data. So they do 1 billion, 850 million in sales. Yep, they do 148 million, 70, an income yep 7.5 billion dollar mark cap 750 yep add cash remove as a debt uh revenue is healthy really good really good revenue uh so we're going to take the cash in short term so plus 347 million 390 yep and we're going to remove debt which is 138 million 84. Yep. So that brings us to 9.7 billion. Wow, this is going to be a really high dollar stock. Divided by 41 million 190,000. $235 stock. Uh, analysts have this at 205, so I'm not too crazy. Wow. Goldman has it at 395. What the F? Uh, let's just see. Wow, look at that. Okay, let's see what the 10-year return is on this one. Glob. What a what a funny ticker symbol. Uh, I'm going to guess institutions are buying the dip on this one. Institutions own 99% as of old data. As of new data, they own 114%. Yeah. Glob's annual average return over 10 years is 36%. Wow. Wow. 10 year average is 36%. Institutional buy on current is, what was it? 178. Bear is 235. Not bad. Um, cool. That's a good one. Uh, I like that one. Next one is Google, Mr. Google or Mrs. Google. Uh, this one doesn't have their income. I guess I have to go to G O O G L. Okay, here we go. All right, we're in the trillions here, so this will be fun. Okay, they do 284 billion 610 million. Correct. Income is 58 billion 590 million. Correct. Plus 1 trillion 543 billion 870 million. Oh, it is one trillion five hundred forty-three billion eight hundred seventy million. Correct. Jesus, Louisus. Okay. Uh, add cash, remove debt. Uh, cash is plus twenty-one billion eight hundred seventy-nine million. Correct. Minus how much debt do they have? Total debt, not that much. Fourteen billion nine hundred ninety-nine million. All right. Total liabilities one hundred nine billion. Total assets three hundred sixty-five billion. So it's a three to one ratio. Very nice. Very nice. Okay. Um. So now we're gonna take this divided by five billion nine hundred twenty million shares. 
with a share price of $319. Current is $122. Jeez, very undervalued. Um, let's see what the tenure for Google is. And what do institutions own? Uh, it doesn't have Google here. Uh, institutions own 38.6%. Old data shows 78%. Ugh, I gotta manually do the calculation here. Okay, institutions own 4.9 billion. So we're going back here. Whoops. So. One sec. So we're going to do 4.9 billion right here. Divided by 5 billion, 92 times 10 or 100. So institutions own 82%, which is up from 76, or I'm sorry, 78. So uh, this one could be a good long term hold. Um, I'm just going to put it as it's good because it's probably going to be an ETF. So um, current 122, fair 300, or what was it? 319. Institutions adding. Yeah. So that's a good one. Um, and we want to make these both bold. Yeah. All right, uh, let's move on to the next one. INTZ, $1.50 stock. Okay, they lose 16 million and they make 7 million. We're cutting them off. That's not a good formula. Ironnet. They make 27 million, but they lose 111 million. Goodbye. Jacob's Solutions looks pretty well priced. All right. Uh, let's take a peek here. 15.59 billion in sales. Yes. Plus 773.90 in income. Very nice. Plus 14 billion, 210 million in market cap nice let's add cash remove le debt uh revenue is very nice uh cash is plus 1 billion 140 million 480 correct and removing their debt which i'm guessing is billion yes minus 3 billion 407 million 670,000. Yes. All right. And let's just see. Total liabilities 8.6 billion, total assets 14.6. So they're not 2 to 1, which is I'm not scared. I'm not concerned. I just I would like that to be better. They do pay a dividend, so that's something to note. So let's take this divided by 125 million dollars, 8,000 share, 8,000 $226 share price. It's now $116. Uh, yeah, analysts have had it as high as $160. So, not that bad. Wow. It's kind of fighting for its life right here. Um, institutions, how much do they own? Let's see, J. And what is the 10 year return this on J? 8% for Jacobs over 10 years. And for institutions holding, it is, uh, I have to do it manually, 126, let's call it 127 million shares. That's how, that's a, 100%. There's 125 million shares float. Institutions own 126 million. So it's 100%. Uh, yeah, people are adding, adding, reducing, reducing, reducing. Reduce, reduce. 
reduce, reduce, add, add, reduce, 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 add. Okay, so yeah, Jacob's actually, I think it's, uh, might be heading back up. So let's, uh, we'll put this one as a good, good stock. So currently 116, bears 226. Bears 226, institutions buying a lot. Uh, revenues growing, profits growing. What about net income? Is net income getting stronger? Uh, net income is getting a lot stronger, Jesus. All right, that's a good one. Um, all right, let's go back to our list. Latos Holdings, Lear Corporation, Maximus, Mob, and Mobilicum. All right, interesting. Latos sounds familiar. Um, let's plug the numbers, 14 billion, 600 million. Yes. Income is 672 million. Okay. And market cap is 10 billion, 950 million. Correct. Ooh, they have some debt, uh, plus 516 million minus they probably got billions in debt. Yeah. Minus four billion nine hundred twenty million in debt. Correct. Institutions are buying. CEO bought a lot. Uh, total liabilities eight point seven billion. Total assets thirteen billion. Again, less than a two to one ratio there, which is fine. Uh, net total revenues growing. Gross profits are growing. Net income growing. Considering that the trailing twelve months is uh, gonna be late, so. It's growing. Uh, all right, let's take our number. Divide it by 135 million, 440,000. $161 stock price. It's currently 82. This is a really good candidate. I'm guessing institutions have been buying this one, without a doubt. Ooh, it's kind of on a it's kind of a falling knife right now. Uh, it's fallen below. So what are institutions doing? I'm going to say they're buying LDOS. And let's just see here, LDOS. Institutions own 78.6% as of old data. Are they jumping ship? Or are they adding more? Now it's at 90%. They are adding more for sure. LDOS is 15% return over 10 years. Okay. So, um, yeah, this is a, this could be a substantial drop if it continues to go further. So, uh, we're going to put this one on watch. LD, LDOS, um, current 82.9 fair. 163 institutions are buying falling knife watch for reversal weekly all right all right that's a good one 138 dollars stock lear corporation this is auto parts uh let's see why did it say auto parts when we're looking for cyber. In addition, the segment provides cybersecurity software. Interesting. I mean, we gotta include it has cybersecurity in it. So um, just kind of random. Pays a decent dividend. So 
21 billion 530 million in sales that's great plus 421 million 900 thousand 421 million 900 thousand cash plus 7 billion 820 million market cap uh they do have some debt uh okay they're growing their revenues cash they have plus 1 billion 114 million 900 thousand debt i don't think they have too much total debt oh they do minus two billion six hundred eleven million there we go all right and let's divide that by le chapra or total shares available wow this is gonna be a big number 58 million nine wow this is gonna be a 479 dollar stock holy stromboli uh i'm gonna guess institutions are buying let's just lea lea so institutions own 102 percent here i'm guessing it's higher than that now um 115 percent yep this is the really good one, you guys. This is a really good one. Uh, 10 years, it's produced 10.40%. Not bad. Uh, this is interesting. Um, it's fighting right here with... Oh, my head's in the way. Let's see. It's fighting right here to break up against the SMAs. So, gosh, it's been range-bound for like over a year it's been in this it's been consolidating so uh this might have a large move up yes we're gonna chart this one out i'm gonna do it on the side uh so lea current 138 fair is 400 479 that's spectacular that's spectacular um yeah that's cool so great great stock right here uh let's move on to mms Ooh, look at this pattern it's gonna break up or down let's find out all right uh let's crunch numbers so four billion seven hundred sixty million correct plus the income of 172 million two hundred thou plus 5 billion 30 million correct and we are total revenue is growing that's good net income is oh net income is kind of lower it's trailing 12 months so it has until september 2023 to get up but it's not looking too good we got quite a bit of selling quite a bit um Cash, they have 40 mil, so plus 40 million, 66,000, yep. Total debt is one bill, minus one, three, five, five, nine, four, zero, zero. All right, uh, divided by 60 million, 180,000. $64 share price, it's currently 84. This is gonna go down. Uh, so this is gonna go down right here also we have three very bullish candles next to each other and each of those days it never broke upwards so on monday i guarantee this is probably going to go down oh how could i take advantage of this downfall um i could do a put or um i don't want to short i could short it though so uh, this is overvalued by $20, and let's just look at the chart. Wow, the monthly chart is not bad. If you were looking at the monthly chart, you would think it's just going to keep continuing to chug upward. This thing has just been rocking. MMS, I mean, every year it kind of just looks like it's going up and to the right. Uh, 9% every year for 10 years, so not bad. I'm going to guess institutions are selling this one. 
Uh, institutions own 102%. I'm going to guess it's less than that. 125%? That's the biggest we've seen yet. Jeez. That's crazy. That's way too crazy. Uh, I, I just don't like this. I just don't like this. It's a specialty service. What kind of specialty does it do? Business to government health and human service. Okay, so they have government contracts. Okay, so government contracts could keep them going forever. So... Uh, these people are smart. HR sold $156,000 worth. The CEO sold $1.4 million worth. Uh, but the CEO also bought $500,000 worth. So we need to give this quite a bit of time, in my opinion. Um, we can see it went from 54 to 84. So we, I want to see this back to 50 ish dollars. So let's give this a year. We want to give it a year because our, the sales income and market cap are just falling a little short. Okay. MMS, thank you. MLB, money over. Okay. Uh, it's an Israel company. They make $7 million. They have no income. This just looks sketch all around. Let's just see what we've got here. Uh, so it looks like a pretty new stock. Um not much data for it to report on. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this one. Uh, yeah, we're going to give this one some time because it's so fresh it's too fresh and we'll be give it a year or two need more data okay now we have mlbbw money over <laughs> bbw uh 14 stock no sales no income no market cap no shares float. We're going to skip this one, you guys, for obvious reasons. All right, now we're going down to MSI. NTCT. NTGR. PNW. PNW. And then PRDO. All right. I think we've got some really good ones here. All right. Uh, ba, ba, ba. Okay. So this one has nine billion three hundred ninety million in sales, plus income is one billion three hundred seventy million, plus forty six million billion five hundred forty million. Yep. Plus sales add cash. Uh, revenues are strong, very strong. Uh, plus cash is one billion three hundred twenty-five million. Yes, debt. I'm guessing they have a lot of debt. Total debt six billion. Not too much. Minus six billion zero one four. All right. Uh, but but but. Oh, I just want to look at. Uh, Total assets, 5.2 billion. Total liabilities, 4.5 billion. Oh, that's so close for comfort, you guys. Like if if something bad happened to this company for six months, a few months, it would not be good. Um, net income is increasing. It's getting better, but why can't they just pay off some of their debt? Oh my God, they have so much debt. Okay, so we're going to take our number and divide it by 100 and 
66 billion 300. All right, I did something wrong. Let's go back here. Now we're going to divide this by 166. Ugh, it's just not working. Let's try it again. Plus zero. What the heck? Okay, now we're going to take this, divide it by 166,350,000. 316 dollar share price it's currently at 277 analysts have a 302 dollar price target so not bad it's just so much freaking debt i can't get over that wow look at this chart what are the, what's the last 10 year returns it's got to be insane Holy cow. 19% last 10 years. Not bad. I was expecting a lot more, honestly. 100% um, ownership. New data. Old data shows 88. Wow. So it's being bought, you guys. Like, my head's in the way. So we have consolidation, consolidation, and now we wait for it to consolidate. So in both instances, it came down to the 20 SMA, 20 SMA, and now it's going to come back down to 240. So we are going to put this in watch for monthly consolidation at 20 SMA. Wow. Current 277, fair is... 316 not a big premium there okay cool that was cool i was surprised ntct net scout systems all right uh this looks like it's gonna be fun so 914 million five hundred thousand plus 59 million six hundred thousand income plus market cap is over one billion so we're adding it so two billion ninety million all right add cash remove debt Ooh, looks like a little debt a lot of cash i hope this one's a very good surprise plus three hundred and eighty six million seven hundred ninety thousand minus debt uh one hundred million not bad Divided by sixty-nine million three hundred thirty thousand forty-eight dollar share price, and it's currently at thirty. Not bad. Um, this is a very bullish sign right here. So right here, this line I'm making is a flag pull, and then here's our flag. Looks like it's gonna break upwards. Oh yeah, nice. I think we found a good one, you guys. Uh, institutional ownership is at 98%. I'm guessing it's higher now. NTCT. Higher than 100. Yep, 114. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, not a big premium. $18 difference. So let's just add this NTCT. Big institutional buys. Uh, big inst buys current 30 fair 48 and it looks like it's going to go higher too in my opinion okay cool uh i like that one let's move on to netgear that one is we know that one. Oh, i didn't know it was so cheap should it be higher Ooh, okay this looks fun because they're losing income which means they have they can become profitable over time which is great so uh this will be very fun so the market cap is under a billion too so 902 million eight hundred thou i can do longhand what am i doing 902.8 minus 21.5 add cash remove debt Cash is 146 points. 
five, and then minus debt, uh, zero debt. So this divided by 28.06, a share price of $35, which is currently at $13. Let's just look at the chart. I'm guessing this is a good buy. This is a screaming buy, actually. Oh, look at this. It's just keep, it's got, it went from 45 to now 1368. I'm guessing institutions are probably buying. NTGR, NTGR. Whoops, wrong one. NTGR. Uh, institutional ownership is at 93. I'm guessing it's higher. 101. Yes, it is higher. Okay. I like this. We are... Let's just actually go down and check the net income and see why they're negative. They were positive net income, and then they were hugely negative, and now they're getting out of the hole. So they were negative 68 million in net income and now they're negative 21 million. So they are getting out of a hole. So I commend them for that. Um, operating expensive had, expenses have been reduced here from 1 billion to 939 million. Uh, gross profit is growing while revenue is shrinking. But it's still trailing 12 months, so we gotta wait. Um, so I like this one a lot. NTGR current 13.68, fair is 35.86. Uh, institutional buys. All right. Pan W. All right, we got a bunch of numbers. Looks like it's very overvalued. Okay, so let's run the numbers. Six billion four hundred ninety million in sales. Income is two hundred fifteen million three hundred thousand. Market cap is sixty seven billion one hundred eighty million. Wow. Okay, let's add cash. Remove debt. Revenue is just insane. Okay. Cash is plus two billion one hundred and eighteen million five hundred thousand. Total debt is minus three billion six hundred and seventy six eight zero. Correct. And let's divide this by two hundred and ninety seven million seven hundred twenty thousand. Fair share price of two forty two. It is currently at two twenty. A little bit of a premium there, 10% um, to be exact. So I actually own this one in my uh, IRA and in my uh, dividend portfolio. It doesn't pay dividend, but it's a high growth. So um, yeah, this, uh, this is a juggernaut. Uh, it's very overvalued right now, but in the future it is currently priced very well. That's a good sign. Uh, let's see what institutions... I'm going to guess institutions are flat. I'm going to say flat. 104% ownership. Down here, 87%. Okay, so they're not flat. They're buying this baby. All right. All right. <laughs> so we do like this one. Pan W. Current 220. Fair 240. Institutional's buying. Okay. Let's so move on to the next one. A $12 stock. PRDO. Nice. This one is education and training services. How does that do with cyber? Do they teach cybersecurity? Ah, they do. Okay. We'll do it. It might be an ETF. I have no idea. We just want to, we'll do it. Okay. Um, bear with me here. Wrong button. Uh, okay. So calculator. 707,800,000 plus income of 98,300,000. Market cap is not over a billion. So we're not going to add that. We're going to add cash, remove debt. Oh my God. Look at these sales. 
They're cashing the heck out. Okay. So cash of plus one hundred plus one oh nine four one minus debt of zero. Okay. This will be divided by sixty six million one hundred thousand. So a thirteen dollar share price at twelve dollars. We're gonna pass. And I say we're gonna pass because this is educational stock and I don't know how much it has to do with actual hardware or software of cybersecurity. So uh, let's go on down to our next one, Parsons. Quailsis, Rapid 7, Sentinel 1, Silver Sun Technologies. Oh, I like that. Silver Sun Technologies. All right. PSN Parsons. Is this the educational thing? No. Okay. It's defense. Sorry. Okay. Uh, this looks good. So let's do 4.42 billion plus income of 101,060,000 right there. Mark cap of 4,800,000,000, correct. Let's add cash, remove debt. Okay, so their revenue is growing nicely. Net income is strong as heck. Okay, plus two six two five four million yep minus debt of seven hundred forty seven million six hundred thousand okay and then let's just look at total liabilities 2.1 bill total assets 4.2 so i feel really good about that that's a two to one ratio so taking this divided by 102 million 750 million shares yeah 86 dollars share price currently at 46 beautiful this is good we're gonna look at institutions too psn uh current 46 bear is 86 yeah institutions are buying i'm guessing psn Let's look at the 10 year here, PSN. I say they're buying, let's find out. Okay, so we have to do it manually. So they own 4.618 million shares. It says they own 99% with, oh, here it is. It was, it was a lag, okay. So they own 105% new data, old data shows 99%. So institutions are buying, I was correct. Uh, 10 year average returns around 11%. This is good. I like this. A lot of good buying all around by institutions. Okay. Uh, let's go to Quailsys. $128 stock. Okay, cool. Let's. Whoops. I apologize for that. Okay. 507 million in sales. That's kind of crazy. It's the lowest one we've seen so far, I think. Income is 111 million. Well, that's really good. 700,000. Market cap is 4 billion plus 4 billion 610,000. That's crazy. Let's add cash remove debt. Cash is 173, so plus 173 72 million. Yep. And total debt is zero. Whoa, did we just find a, did we just find a, divided by 34,240,000? $157 stock. Okay, I was thinking we found something cray cray. This is crazy though. Uh, are they? I just want to know if they're going to grow their sales. Sales quarter over quarter, 15%. Sales over the past five years, 16%. So sales are a little low. 
institutions are buying this for sure. QLYS. QLYS. Let's see. Uh, institutions own 97% as of old data. New data, 109%. So institutions are buying. This is crazy. Uh, back in 10 years ago, this was $13. So it's gone up 1,000% in 10 years. Let's see if it... Q-L-Y-S. So 24% year over year. Uh, I like this. Uh, I like this. I, li I would buy this, yeah. I would buy a lot of these, actually. Q-L-Y... Q-L-Y-S. Attractive, for sure. Attractive. Um, institutions buy... Uh, current is 128, fair 158, 157. Yeah, um, this is going to be a billion dollar company, a billion dollar in sales, billion dollar in income. It's this blows my mind, honestly. So cool. I like this one a lot. Rapid seven. Ooh, okay. Uh let's see what we got here. This looks a little risky. Risky, risky, risky. They make 710 million. I gotta do longhand because we're doing billion. We do billion. They make that much, they lose 105. <gasps> okay. Uh, and then we're gonna add the market cap of two billion seven hundred and ten million. Yes. Okay, revenue is growing nicely, profits growing nicely, net income's getting better. It is getting better, yeah. It went from 126 mil to 124 mil to 105 mil, all negative. So it's getting closer to zero to be positive, I guess. Cash is plus 207 million, 290,000. Uh, total debt. Minus 815, 950. Yes. Okay. Uh, let's just see real quick. Total liabilities, 1.4 billion. Total li Their assets dwarf liabilities. That is a no go. This is a no go. So divided by 58,300,000. stock trading at $45. This is a no go, you guys, because they have more liabilities than assets. Ooh, it's dangerous. That is dangerous. All right. Uh, let's go on to the next one. Sentinel one. This is going to be choppy. They make 422 million in sales, but they lose 378 million. Let's look at some numbers. Okay, so they have no debt. Uh, earnings per share next year, which is probably this year. Actually, it's next year. Uh, looking at 100%. Sales quarter over quarter is 70%. That's good. Insiders are selling. Institutions are buying. I mean, let's see. Uh, ticker symbol S. Whoops. S, just S. Uh, institutions own 72%. Here it's showing 92%, so that's a big drop. That's 20%. That's huge. That Yeah, that could have been right there. So that's big. Uh, shares float 229 million. Let's go ahead and run my calcs on here. We'll add cash and debt. So they make 422 million, 200,000. They lose 378 million, 700,000. Plus the market cap of six billion five hundred thirty million. Yeah. All right. Let's add cash. Remove the debt. Uh, revenues growing. Profits growing. Uh, total operating expenses are growing. Not good. To net income not good. Okay. Balance sheet. They have one hundred thirty-seven million cash. So plus one hundred thirty-seven ninety-four. Debt. They have zero. Okay. 
And let's go to the top. So divide this by 229 million seven hundred and ten thousand twenty nine dollar share price. Currently at fourteen. So that is not bad. However, their sales to income is not good. They can survive. If you make four hundred twenty two million dollars a year, but you give three hundred seventy eight away, you're left with. Um, you know, 40, whatever million. So, you know, they need to see some improvements. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So just, we have a typical bear flag here. So let me show you what I mean by that. So here's the flagpole. I'm drawing it. Imagine this is a straight line. And then we have a rectangular flag going like this. So the rectangular flag, here's our flagpole. That's a bearish move, it's gonna go down. And when it goes down, it just did the same thing. So here's our flagpole right here. Here's our flag and it just collapsed, broke down. So um, I would think around 14 to $16 would be okay but we might see it break down again even further which would not be surprising um as long as the market caps there which mean people are buying so i would follow up with this one in six months follow up in six months so what we're going to want to see in six months is we're going to see want to look for guidance we want to, we're going to want to see guidance increase we're going to want to see uh, insiders buying. Like, come on, look at all this. Nobody's buying. Like, let's go down all the way down here. Uh, the CEO, Tomer, had 299,000 shares. So he's got 800. So he is, he's getting stock options, which is good. So but he's he's not making any open in the mark in the open market purchases which is kind of annoying. So I want to see some insider buys. I want to see institutional ownership go up from 72% as well. So we're going to want to see some buying action probably around I don't know wherever this may go. This could go as low as in the single digits, but it just depends on how they guide out for the rest of the year. So uh yep we'll check back on that in six months this one actually does not look bad because they have positive sales not negative income so let's uh let's just crunch this real quick 47.1 in sales plus income of zero cash and debt let's add and remove uh revenues growing nicely profits growing Net income, they're just net income positive. Look at that. Uh, total cash and short-term investments, so plus 8.01. Total debt is minus 2.07. Do they do, what is this? Cyber secure. What do they do? Uh, it also offers value added services that focus on consulting, professional specialized training. In addition, the company provides information technology managed services such as crypt cybersecurity. Very interesting, you guys. Are they doing dilution offerings? No, they're not. Okay. You guys, you guys, we might've found a really Interesting company. I just want to make sure the price wasn't 10 million before. Okay, so it went to 14, now it's down to three. Okay, so let's pull up our calc. So we're going to divide this by 2.95. $17 stock price at a $3 right now. Okay. Uh, institutions, I would want to hope that they're adding here. SSNT. 16%. Okay, that's up from 10%. 
This is very nice. This is very nice. You guys, I am afraid I like this. They're almost... No, they are profitable, barely. So, are they buying? Not buying? I mean, it says they're buying right here, so they're probably buying stock options on the back end. Uh, I like this company. I'll say it. I like it. Yep, yeah, we're going to add it. SSNT. Current is 3.11. Fair is 30. What was it? 17. It was 17, not 30. Uh, institutions are buying. Institutions buying. Which institutions are taking advantage of the dip? Uh, Bear, Bard Associates doubled their position almost. Alt Global cut their position by half. Vanguard is adding. Vanguard, Ultra Small Fund. Morgan Stanley is adding. Vanguard, adding more. Bank of America sold. UBS bought. Wells Fargo bought a little bit. Citigroup bought. Credit Suisse sold. Ooh, you guys, you guys, you guys. Oh, yes. Um, I like this one. Okay, cool. I'm excited. That's a really good, I think, if this company continues to execute, uh, this could be a really good find. Um, I just wanted to look at the uh, board. Executive board management. I want to see if it's a founder-led company. Mark Meller. Oh, shoot. Here we go. Okay, so he's been a CEO for a while. Uh, okay. Is the founder on the board or anything? No? I mean, not bad. Let's, I'm just going to go to LinkedIn real quick and I just want to look at his profile. Sorry, this one's taking a little bit longer than normal. Mike Meller. Mike Mark Meller. Mark Meller. Oh, get out of here. Mark Meller, yes. I just want to see if he founded it. Because that would be big. All right, we're back on Mark's uh, LinkedIn. Uh, I just want to see if he... It's WK. Okay, so he didn't co-found... He has co-founded a company. So, I mean, I guess he has a nag for getting his companies uh, acquired. Okay, so what is SWK Technologies? He has been the CEO for almost 20 years, so he's not founder-led, but it's still still a good run, so I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. Again, good company. Uh, let's go on to the next ones. Swock. Shoulder up. Okay. Tenable. Uh, ETF. We have a bank. What? View. That's building and equipment. Viasat. All right. We've got a handful left. Okay. Let's go through these. 
whoa, what is, it's a shell company here, you guys. So SUAC is a shell company. We're going to get out of here. All right, this looks like a good one. Tenable. So 712 million, 700,000 in sales, minus income of 92 million, 800,000, plus market cap of 4 billion, 590,000. Okay. Add cash remove debt. Um, yeah, I'm just selling. Revenues continue to grow, profits growing, net income is not getting any better. It's not good. Uh, plus 300 million. Sorry. Hurt that, you guys. Hurt. 300 million, 87. Minus debt of 364 million, 69. Okay. Um, okay, divided by 110,760,000 shares. So $46 stock trading at 39. Um, honestly, the only thing holding this up right now is the market cap. Institutions own 91%. I'm going to say they probably own less now. TMB. 91 is old data. 99 is new data. So they actually bought more. I don't know if I like this company. They're overvalued in the future. We're going to pass on this one. Let's see what this type of cybersecurity it is. Uh, okay. On premise IT security. So, Nisus, a vulnerability assessment solution for cybersecurity. Okay, um, uh, it's just hard. They grew their cash a hundred million. Oh, what's the monthly pattern or monthly chart show? It just feels like dead money for a while. Like it's probably just gonna trade sideways. Yeah, went from a low of seventeen to a high of. 63 then 30 and now it's kind of ziggity zagging um yeah we'll put this one off for a year okay whoa this is a bank we're gonna pass this. Why why does it have cybersecurity? Oh, it offers cybersecurity services to the bank. No. Okay, here's a company that's a building company that's at 18 cents. They make 102 million but lose 322 million, so that's obviously a pass. Viasat. Oh, okay. This might be good. Might be good. Let's see. Doesn't look bad. Yeah, I touched the SMA right here and it said nope. Okay. Um, we can run the numbers, although I don't think it's going to be very attractive. But let's just run the numbers. 2.55 billion. Whoops. Well, minus 221,700,000 plus 3 billion market cap. Yep. All right, let's add cash, remove debt. Just selling. There's some options. Okay. Uh, revenue is flattish, but I mean, it's trailing. So, you know, net income is really strong. Okay, so cash they have. Plus one billion three hundred forty-eight million eighty-five. Very nice cash position. Total debt minus two four five nine four. 
Okay, so now let's take this and divide it by the shares float. Divided by 72 million for $61 stock, but I don't know. What kind of, let's just go down and communicate. Let's. The company's government system segment offers government mobile broadband products and services include mobile and tech mobile and broadband modems terminals and network access controls mesh and hub and spoke satellite networks so secure networking cyber security and information assurance products Ooh. good growth projected for next year 427 percent EPS has been negative over the past five years. That's not good. Sales are 9%. We're going to check back on this one in two years. Two year. Okay. Um, let's go down. Wave Dancer. Okay. Wisdom Trio. That's an ETF we're passing. Y Pro, I've heard of that one. W Key, Wide Point, Ziff Davis, and Zero Fox. All right, that's the last of our cybersecurity holdings. Okay, Wave Dancer does, I mean, no. They make 12 million, but they lose 9 million. And their shares are 14 million. That means they have 3 million cash left over but there's 14 million shares so 3 million distributed to 14 million is like 30 cents a share uh the ceo is just buying like crazy to make it look like it's a good company i mean it could be a good company don't get me wrong Man. Uh, okay. I, I I just I want to give this one some love, but let's just see. I mean the stock used to be five dollars and six dollars. Are institutions buying this? Institutions own 2.8%. As of old data, new data shows nothing. Oh. I think we're going to have to pass. But, I mean, this could be a really good speculative stock to take a big risk in. The CEO owns a million, 1.6 million shares. So... That says something, I guess, but yeah, just it's not doing it, not cutting it. We're going to pass on wave D. All right. Uh, next is Y pro. I've heard of this one. Oh, wow. It's only $4. Am I tripping? Okay, I'm tripping. Okay, so let's crunch numbers here. 11 billion, everything's in billions, thank goodness. So 11 billion plus 1.38 billion plus 25.95 billion. Let's add cash, remove debt. Total revenue is good. Yeah, because it's lag, so. Net income is down. Quite a bit. Uh, wow, look at that cash. Okay. 31.4 billion, 31.463 billion cash. Total debt, 174 billion. What the fudge? That's, is this USD? Oh, this is INR. 
INR. Okay. Where is this company located? India. Okay. Okay. We're going to restart, 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 restart. Okay. INR to USD is what we need to do. INR to USD. Okay. So do they make a billion dollars? Like, is this USD right here? We can do the conversions after if we need to. Um, yeah, we'll do conversions after. Okay, let's re, we're gonna redo that. So, man, I'm so confused. Because these are big numbers up here. Are these USD or no? I'm going to say no. Let's just be careful and say no. So let's do 11 billion. Let's one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. So, 133 million in sales. 133, 421, 420 in sales, plus 1.38 billion, 1 billion, 380, Okay, so this, this is uh, income of plus 1,673,000, or is it 1,673,000, yeah, so 16 million, okay. Okay, we're at 150 million. Now, twenty five nine five billion. Twenty five nine five billion. One two three. One two three. One two three. I think. One. Whoops. One two three. One two three. One two three is million. One two three is billion. I think I'm off by zero. Nope, I need another zero. That's 259 billion. No, I need to remove another zero. I need to remove a zero because it's 25 billion. Yes. Remove one more zero, Ryan. There we go. Okay, so the market cap is now this. Plus market cap of three, one, four, seven, five, three, two, five, nine. There we go. <laughs> now let's go down and add the rest of this. They have more cash. They have 31 billion cash. That's insane. This is crazy. This is crazy. Okay. So they have cash of 31 billion. 463,000. 31,463,000,000. Yep, 31 billion, 40, yep, okay. So plus this, plus 3816216468. Yeah, they have more cash than all that. So total debt is, okay, 17466. One seventy four billion six 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 one two three one two three. Okay, so now we got a minus minus two one one eight five six two three four zero. 
Okay, third negative, big time. I just did a ton of work for nothing. So this is a no-go. Um, I guess that's why it's a $4 stock. I thought it was good, but, you know. Okay, uh, we probably almost did it. So we're going to pass on WIP or WIT. Next one is Whiskey. Okay, they make 23. It's a semiconductor. Make 23, they lose 8. Okay, this is a risky one, but let's do it. Okay, uh, 23.8. Minus the eight million. Add cash remove debt. Or is this in, oh, it's in USD? It's in USD. I double check. <gasps> Excuse me. Plus twenty. Plus seven one. Removing debt. Of seven point three. All right. Uh, total liabilities twenty three point two. Total assets forty nine point five. That's a two to one at least. And then we're going to take this divided by four. Seven dollar stock trading at two dollars. That's pretty crazy. Ooh. Do insist our institution's own person? W K E Y. Uh, it's not showing anything here. I mean, it's looking good. What's, what am I, what, what, is there, are they doing offerings? No? Okay. Uh, let's see. Revenue was 17 mil, went to 23 mil. That's great. Operating income went from 38 to 34. That's good. Net income went from minus 20 to minus 27. That is not good. Um, ma, 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 ma. Let's look at their balance sheet. They're growing their cash. Well, except for 2022. Assets went down significantly. Uh, yeah, I would have to say we might. I mean, let's just look at it. I don't know. It feels like there's no so uh, this is tough a leading global cybersecurity company currently deploying large-scale digital identity ecosystems for people and objects using blockchain ia i ai and iot <laughs> oh I mean, they made 23 million. This is tough. This is tough, 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 tough. Okay, so we're, we'll we'll track it consistently. So, because it might show, might come up in an ETF. So, WKEY, um, current 2.04, fair 7, no inst little data i mean blockchain yeah i don't know i don't know how i feel about that one we'll just keep it on the back corner uh wyy okay uh let's run the numbers actually let's look at the chart i want to make sure it wasn't a million dollar stock price before Uh, it was not. It was 22, 14, 1. Let's get to the bottom of the share price together. Okay. Uh, 96. Everything's in millions. Thankfully, 96.9 minus 24.1. Whoops, 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 whoops. 96.9 minus 24.1. Okay, let's add cash, remove debt. 
plus 7.53 minus debt of zero. Great. I thought I saw offering up here. Offering? No. Okay. Dilution? No. Okay. Okay, so let's grab this number and divide it by 7.87, so $10 stock, trading on $1. I want to say institutions are probably buying, W-Y-Y, 13.4%, this is at 11.8, I think, yeah, they're buying for sure. Are insiders buying? Yes, as they should be, okay. They're not really big buys. So, yeah, let's just go back here. Total liabilities, 31, total assets, 49, kind of close there. Uh, income, growing revenue, profits not really doing anything. Uh, net income is not good. This is a uh, risky. Risky to say the least. Um, I'm gonna have to chart this one out. Same with Leah, right? Yeah, chart Leah out. Okay, so current 1.8, fair is 10. Fair, 10, uh, chart out. Inst buy, yeah. All right, Ziff Davis. All right, uh, let's, they're advertising. Come on, what are they doing? Diff, Ziff Davis. Canada, it operates two segments, digital media and cybersecurity for MarTech. The digital media, the cybersecurity and MarTech segment provides cloud-based subscription services to consumers and business, including cybersecurity. Okay, it could be in the ETF, so we're not gonna dis discontinue it, discredit it. Okay. Uh, sales 1.38 billion. Very nice. Whoops. 138. Income is 33 million, 300,000. Very nice. Mark cap is 292 billion. Okay. Let's add cash, remove debt. Ooh. Good buys here. 588,000 at 58 bucks. Okay. So cash, they have a lot. Plus six five two seven nine thousand. Yep. Debt they probably have a lot as well. Not really. Nine hundred ninety nine million fifty thousand. Okay. Uh, and then shares float divided by forty four million eight hundred sixty thousand. Eighty eight dollars stock trading at sixty five. Not bad. Target price is 93 right now. $88 by Barclays. So me and Barclays are on the same page at least. Um, let's see what institutions are doing. Let's see what the 10-year is on this. I'm going to guess institutions are buying. Okay, 61.5 million. So it's over 100%. Okay, so 61, 6 billion, what was it? 61.5 billion, J2 Global, what? I want ZD, man. ZD, there we go. All right, apologize. It's showing J2 Global, so... Let's do Ziff Davis here.
Oh. Okay, there there was a recent merger, I guess. I don't know. Um okay, well let's see. The 10 year return is seven percent. So I mean this it's ad agency. I think it needs to come down here and touch the 200, so around $50. We'll check back in on this in three months. Okay. We got one more, and we might be done with it. Zero Fox Holdings. Wow. They make $117 million, but they lose $742 million. That's a big hard pass. Okay. Um, we're done with that. We're done with all of these. All right, you guys. Let's take a brief look at our, um, our list. All right. So out of the 54 stocks, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 18, 19, 20 out of 54, which are good. Um, but there was even less than the 54 because some of them were ETFs. So we have 20 really strong cybersecurity stocks. Um, I am going to add these to a list so I can watch them. I would say you should do some more research if you're considering any of these cybersecurity stocks. Um, in my next video, it won't be as long as this one, but we're going to go through the uh, cybersecurity ETFs and make sure that if we're interested in a cybersecurity ETF, that it includes at least one of these companies, maybe a handful of them. So if you guys made it this far, I applaud you. Um, please consider subscribing to my channel. Hit the like button. Hope you're doing well. Talk to you later. Bye.